Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Um, hello. I was supposed to be streaming this, or intended to be streaming this, but it ain't happening. I don't know why. Um, Twitch might be having an issue. I don't know. Be gone. Um, so, I've got stuff here. Um, yeah, I need gold. I need a lot of it. And I know that doing this, digging out entire chunks of, you know, deep slate and stone is not the most efficient way of getting uh, gold, but I just don't have that much. I grabbed all the gold that I had here, but let me show you something. We don't have to continue doing this. And while I go up and let's find where we were, I did not mean to jump off of a huge platform or a high platform, whatever, you know what I mean. Let me get back up to where we were. This is where we were. Uh, so yeah, I'm just digging out chunks. Because um, I need gold. And again, stupid way of doing it. But check this out. Found a big cave. There's some gold in here. So I can go get some of that. Now, we are right here. Still in mushroom fields. Or mushroom fields. Let's switch over to my silk axe pick here. And yeah, let's grab some of this. I've got some iron ore. Not that I need a bunch more iron. But look, gold. Let's grab that. Okay, it's only three pieces. Well, it might be more once I fortune it. Uh, but let's see what we can get. There's more here. I'm pretty sure. I think I saw some. There's some gold right there. Um, so let's do a little bit of caving. And let's have a talk. Again, I plan to stream this. Um, because this is going to be a little bit of update, and I want to talk a little bit. And look! A diamond. More iron. More iron. Yeah, I don't need all this iron, but it's dark over here. Let's put some torches down. So, last night... Um, I, I've talked on this channel a lot in my videos about the Magic Castle and my efforts to join and various things that I've done. For that, that was kind of dumb, wasn't it? Taken straight up. Um, but last night, I did not go to the Magic Castle. I went to the Avalon Theater, which is in Hollywood. It's kind of around the corner from the castle. It's pretty darn close. Um, it's, it's on Vine Street, just north of Hollywood. And it is, hello guys. Welcome to the party. Okay, there's zombies here, which suggests that maybe there's a zombie spawner. Which I need to find and disable. But maybe I turn it into some sort of an XP farm. Whoa, hello. Slightly strategic retreat. Bow is going to break. Hello, spider. I see you over there. Don't worry. I got some for you, too. Maybe. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Goodness gracious. Okay. So I did run in here last night. It was late. And light things up a little bit. Um, let's be a little bit careful and... Try to light things up a little bit more. And... So many zombies. So the Avalon Theater is a very old theater. It's built in, I believe, the 1920s. Hello. Oh. Okay, I can use the gunpowder. It was built in the 1920s. It was used as a... It was a uh, theatrical theater. It's kind of redundant, but it was sort of a old school 
theater at the time. It's originally called the El Capitan. It's not the same theater as what is currently known as El Capitan. Um, okay. Which is owned by Disney. And where Disney debuts all their uh, all their movies. Not all of them, but a lot of their movies. Yeah, you take that. Um, and, uh, but it's it's gone through a few name changes over the years. It is, uh, NBC used it as their variety arts uh, television stage. Got converted into a TV stage. It's the location where Richard Nixon gave the sort of infamous checkers speech. I hear more zombies. There's got to be a spotter near here, doesn't there? Um, also, I think it's clear. I'll check in a moment. Put down some more torches here. We are no longer in Mushroom Fields biome. We have wandered out into the ocean at this point. So this kind of demarks the end of where we are reasonably expected to be able to go okay we will find that dividing line and mark it but this uh the avalon theater oh more gold uh avalon theater it's a beautiful old theater it's uh it was the palace theater for a while like when i moved to la that's what it was called it's been through a number of name changes it is now the avalon it's mostly a, like a nightclub or dance club. They get DJs and dance music musicians to come play there. And it's a, it's, you know, nightclub sort of setting, kind of a swanky nightclub. Um, but last night at the Avalon Theater, the Academy of Magical Arts of the Magic Castle uh, held its 2022 awards show. And it was kind of a weird one um, because normally they hand out awards to the performer who played at the castle, who performed at the castle the prior year. Um, and, but because we have sort of coming out of this crazy pandemic, there weren't a whole lot of, I mean, they had performers. The castle had been open for months, but instead of doing the usual showroom awards, they decided to kind of highlight things that were done during the pandemic, the stuff that was done to help sort of keep the castle alive during a very difficult time. And one of the things they decided to highlight, award, mention, celebrate, whatever you want to call it, was the uh, the live streams that I have been was kind of a big part of. Uh, mostly for a series of live streams, live events called Behind the Bookcase, uh, which was there for our members to enjoy. And it was kind of interviews with famous magicians uh, from all around the world. And we did... Oh, there's a slime chunk here. Oh, that could be good. Um, and we did 121, I think, episodes. I hear another slime. What's going on up there? Um, there might be a nothing, but we should go check. Um, and a bunch of them, a bunch of them that I were involved in, dozens were live events. They're like live TV shows that we were doing every single week. Yeah, it's nothing. Um, so it was it was a uh, you know I got to use my digital video and audio expertise and training and professional experience to help improve the streams and. Um, and sort of make them better and make things there for our members, the Magic Castle members, to 
uh, to have something to do when they couldn't visit the club because it was closed because of COVID. Uh, so they handed me and the uh, other people who were kind of part of the technical team a special award of merit um, for for that, which is very gratifying to be thanked so publicly, although it's something we were just doing because we wanted to be able to help out and wanted to, um, you know, give back to the castle and, and sort of do it for other members. So, so that was, but that was very cool. So I got to go up on stage. We got, um, gave a speech and um, I think I did pretty well with the speech. And um, yeah, so that was, that was very cool. I got a plaque and everything. And uh, very nice. So I am now, I have an award from the Academy of Magical Arts which is something that many magicians just kind of dream about. I didn't get it for being a magician or doing magic, although you could make the argument that what we were doing was kind of magical, but um, but it was very nice to be thanked very publicly and uh, by the Academy. So that was very cool. And I went with uh, Chihuahua Powered G, and we got all dressed up and went and got to enjoy the um, the theater and the cocktails and the and the environment and all the all the other people who showed up got all dressed up bat stop it and uh, a lot of people congratulations people had no idea that that was going to happen i knew a few days ahead of time but not really it wasn't it wasn't exactly a secret but it wasn't um, they didn't announce ahead of time who the recipients of all the awards were going to be Oh, it totally zags right here, doesn't it? So anyway, that was I think that was very cool. Very excited. And now I get to be... If I were an ego-driven person, I'd be like, Oh, I'm now an award-winning magician. Not in the slightest bit true, but... Oh, what's going on? Oh, no, no, this is not right. Anyway, not that this is important for me to figure out exactly where this happens. Oh, buddy. Let's take care of you too. So, I have a slime chunk here, obviously. Um, probably others around. I've been kind of curious to see if I was going to get any slimes in the mushroom fields. These are not considered hostile mobs. Or are they? Actually, I guess they are. Uh, so it's entirely possible that they will spawn. Uh, no, it, so it, it's entirely possible that they will not spawn. Um... There's another cave above me, isn't there? Ocean, mushroom fields right here, okay. So yeah, that was, that was all very cool and I, got to uh, I think um, made some friends who 
previously didn't necessarily know who I was, um, but had, you know, maybe heard my name. Um, but they're all like, oh, wow, congratulations, you got a prize, you got an award. So anyway, that, uh, that didn't hurt either. So ooh, I'm running low on torches here, but this roughly sets the dividing line of how far I can go this way without running into uh, warm ocean biome. Hmm. Okay, so I can go back. I can go back a little further here than I than I would have thought. Oh, redstone I missed. Oh, more gold. Oh, there was there was gravel up there, and I and I knocked it down. So that. Um, Again, not super bright, digging straight overhead, but you know, whatever. I don't think there's another patch of gravel there. More gold! Very good. Okay. All right, so I got 14 pieces of deep slate gold ore. There's more iron up there. More. Uh, let's. Go ahead and get. Whoops. There we go. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that was my night last night. Um, we did have some famous magicians show up. Uh, Lance Burden and Mac King both arrived. The sort of the guest of honor, the the big honoree, was Max Maven, who's. Certainly of his generation, the most famous mentalist, um, but just one of the biggest names in magic, kind of of all time, for a lot of, for a lot of reasons. He, um, he's getting along in years and is not um, in super great health right now. He's having some health issues. Uh, so they gave him a... Uh, Fellowship of Merit, which is kind of the highest award that the Academy of Magic Arts hands out. And it kind of does to for magicians who have an impressive body of work. And Max Maven certainly has that. And he's been a fixture at the castle since the uh, late 70s, early 80s. So he's he's a big part of our community. And we, um, we love him dearly. And he... Who knows how much time we have left with him. So we are wanting to celebrate him while we can. Because that's the best way to put it. Okay, I'm going to dump some of the stuff because I don't need miscellaneous crud. Fill it up my pocket. Spider eye and, and uh, gunpowder I'll hang on to. So now I've got cobble deep slate in my pocket. All right. A little bit, and then I've got some deep slate that I silk touched. Oh, that's more cobbled. Why did that not get picked up over here? All right, so let's see what we can do here. Let me dump some of these ores off. I have a chest here with a bunch of ores, of stuff that I've mined out. Um, I have a good number of diamonds here. Don't need them right at the moment. Oops. Oh, goodness. And put that up and put this down here. Okay. Disorganized mess, but that's okay. Slime ball. Since I have a slime chunk back there, I should probably spend a little time identifying where that slime chunk is. Oops. And, but let's, uh, let's, let's break some of this 14 gold deep slate gold ore right deep slate gold ore let's see what we get with when we're fortunate how many pieces of gold raw gold we get 28 okay that's not bad let's uh let's see here Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Let's split this up so it goes quicker. Yeah, so when they brought me backstage before the award they gave to me and, and three other people who were involved in the, the live streams, um, Lance Burden was just hanging out backstage. And uh, he was sitting there on the couch practicing his card moves, which is, you know, it's kind of funny, but also one of the reasons why he's the best because he never stops practicing, even though he's been retired for a long time. Um, but he's also still really freaking good. Um, he can do he can do stuff with a pack of cards that I will never ever be able to do. And so, uh, and then Matt King showed up, and Matt King and Lance Burden are huge friends. They're they're lifelong buddies. They met when they were kids, going to the Magic Club in Louisville, Kentucky, and um, Lance Burden went and uh, went and won Fism, and Matt King moved to L.A. and became Mac King. Got his show in Vegas. One of the Longest performing magicians in Las Vegas. And uh, they're both fantastic in their own ways. So that's just great. Uh, so, and I've met Mac before he was on one of the live streams that we did. So I, you know, we're old buddies. I mean, he doesn't really remember who I am, but he, you know, he's always very nice and cordial and kind of seems like he remembers me. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Um, but it's very cool that I got to meet so many cool people and, um, meet and work with magical idols and um, yeah, and just meet so many great people. It was very cool. Okay, so what are we gonna? Oh, I have more gunpowder. I can use that, so I'm gonna take that with me. Um, need more torches. I don't need them right now. Let's go over to the other side of the island. 